and uh, now we start to check our spindle uh, we using special template and filler gauge to check uh, the clearance in point G1 this measure uh, 0 0.5 all maximum available value see data in your manual and next we start to check uh, our burn off value on the spindle by measuring along the spindle template from point A to, A to point D and point E all parameters showing zero it means our spindle in very good condition and uh, right parameters for the company report form check the spindle stem for wearing uh, in the coated area and it's measured area from top of spindle uh, you can check in data how much need to take this measure it's two points which need to measure even you can see by wearings on the spindle this point very visible and take measures by outside micrometer and to record uh, the measures in uh, company form also check with wor working card minimum diameter 49.8 we have 54 it means also good condition now lubricate the valve housing uh, before uh, insert to the bottom piece and start lowering well housing to the bottom piece and uh, fix the bottom piece by two screw here no use any torque wrench just little knock by hammer and finish and the same from other side after lubricate the spindle apply the oil system I'm using system oil and lubricate uh, the spindle guide inside outside and start to pick up the valve housing to insert inside the spindle the vessel little rolling and it will be not easy to catch and slowly lowering the valve housing and check the position of top uh, top of spindle it must be insert in uh, spindle guide
Okay, now in the place. And remaining assembling uh, the top of our exhaust valve. So, blow by air, clean with clean racks. All parts must be clean and good lubricated. It's I show in the from uh, well housing have pin and uh, from the oil uh, air cylinder have hole. This pin must to catch this hole. Just little moving by hands and this oil cylinder will uh, places on the well housing. No need to use hammer. Now you can see. Now uh, fill the bottom of the air cylinder up to drain hole with the clean uh, lubricating oil, system oil. Just like on the video, little oil. Till this groove. taking picture for the our company for overhauling report and uh, the next one will lower air piston uh, over the well spindle down into the air cylinder lubricate ceiling rings and to ring inside the hands must be clean oil also and uh, using the piston installing tool also lubricating inside this tool for install the piston uh, smoothly into the air cylinder install the special tool on the top of air cylinder lubricate the tool lubricate the spindle with a clean oil and start to mount our air piston just uh, need to press inside in non-return valve and little knock by hammer So now air piston inside in the air cylinder and we mount uh, two part conical locking ring and by blowing air we pick up the air piston and mount our uh, flange on the top of the air piston and tight uh, the bolts. This bolts uh, M6 I check in the manual, uh, also for this bolts we can use torque range. And the torque tightens very small, about 15 newtons. But for each type engine it will be different. Check first instruction manual, all data. And uh, the next we will check measure of piston damper. That's why we didn't uh, place before the oil piston inside in the oil cylinder. So 
so now we start make measure of the piston damper so place the, the measuring tool on the air cylinder across the piston and uh, check the mesh of the damper uh, piston by checking the distance from the upper edge of the crossbar to the top of the damper piston you can see from top of uh, crossbar we check this distance if measurements uh, is outside the value uh, it's need to dismantle the oil piston and ch change the disc inside so it's I make just double check and check is uh, minimum distance is 50 millimeters I take from the data we have more it means no need to change the disc which located inside in the piston blow by air clean with rocks and check the position of our uh, gaps on the piston rings here the same clean with rocks low by air and place the oil cylinder oil piston inside in the oil cylinder but before need lubricate place by hand and uh, lock with locking plate also I'm not using for this uh, torque wrench just tied by spanner here we have pin and uh, in the oil cylinder we have groove uh, hole lubricate the ring on top of air uh, cylinder pick up the oil cylinder and place to the top of our exhaust valve how to check uh, that you are assembling the exhaust well good it's need to make a pressure test you just uh, fill up the air cylinder by air uh, pick up uh, the exhaust valve and this exhaust valve must be in a closed position more than 15 minutes so place the hand rail and tight with the nuts for this exhaust valve this nuts we tight with torque wrench uh, 260 newtons so that's all thank you for watching my video see you next time exhaust valve ready to install in